Now that I've got the alternator all apart, I've got the parts I need to put it back together. The new um, sleeve that's arrived. I really didn't pay attention to um, how the other one came off to where it was situated, but um, the wires here got a loop around these parts here and be soldered over to there. So lining that up pretty much like that there should be plenty for that to come down and go back on. <clears throat> there is no markings to say which side's got to go to where. Uh, the difference between the two is only on the bottom. You've got these two circle points here and this one here's got flat. It's still got I can show you on the angle there. I don't know if you can see that. I guess I'll find out when I edit the video. But anyway, you can see the difference there, hopefully. To be honest, the camera looks a bit dark to me in here, so I'm hoping that this isn't a waste of footage. So, anyway, um, the gaps between the two are the same. So it'll be fine. So not there. I'll put that there. I'm gonna use a lawnmower socket to knock this down. Just want to make sure that when it comes down, it's going to be that's too much. Get there. My socket sits just on the outside. It's causing a little damage there. I might try and find a, a nut to go over the top of that instead. It's my first time doing this, so yeah, that's better. Wash will do, nut would have been fine. And just keep tapping this slowly. I'm not hitting it, not whacking it as hard as I can, just tapping it until it gets all the way to the bottom. Perhaps I should have put a bit of lithium grease on it or something, but um, to make it a bit smoother to go down, but uh, it's too late now. can't go any further down than it's supposed to so I'm going to go all the way until it doesn't move anymore a bit of play there still well it's not going any further down so let's put that all stay Kill these copper wires around these the ends again. <clears throat> I'll show you on here on the original one. The copper wire solder, solders into the end there. So I'm get under and over this instead. A bit easier. Really bad lighting in here, I tell ya. Just gonna try and rectify that. That should make life a little bit easier to see what's going on here. Now just let that iron heat up for a minute.
I'll put the bearing on. Now there's a you can only go on so far off the bearing. You can see there's a lip there. You can only go down so far. my finger here between the sleeve and the bearing and I could feel it going down if I was tapping it and when it stopped when I could feel that there's the gap stopped closing that's when I knew I was enough. That's it. <coughs> now I need to work on these brushes. Now the brushes are going to go back in here. It's going in there plenty long enough. What I'm going to do first is uh, I'm going to find something that I can put into this end that will come up at least as far as that and um, then I can slide it all over together in one piece and then pull the pin out from the other side. Okay, got myself a bit of wire, push these brushes in. That's down there. Dad. I need to be careful here. I don't want to push that out. So I'm just going to bend that there. I don't want to cut that wire just out yet. I need to get all the screws in. You see the brushes are still tied back. And now I need to get the screws down. So first of all, this plate here goes back in. That goes over the back of the brushes there to where it's soldered. Clearly I don't do alternator repairs for a living, but, you know, just showing you how to do IY. Not the first alternator I've done, but definitely, definitely haven't done one like this one before. I've done plenty of Toyota ones. You see what I mean by the screwdriver is not perfectly in angle there. So um, I'm gonna try and just move this over. A tad, just to get the a bit of a straighter angle. Okay, that'll do it. Alrighty, so so far so good. Uh, when I'm mucking around this, now uh, what I didn't pay attention to was how I pull this apart. Have it get bolts on that way, or that way. But what I do remember is how it came off. So, say I'm the motor, alternator is bolted on like that, and the, 
the cables that connect sit like that. So that there must go to that there to line up. I'm just going to give the shaft a couple of taps of the hammer just to bring that down. Okay, so that's almost closed up there. Now I need to make sure that's like that there. Remembering it's alloy, so you can't go extremely tight. But you know when it, you be able to feel when it tight's tight. That's it. Making sure it's all closed properly. Yep. Now I can pull this rod out. And she's ready to go. Uh, while you got it apart, um, I checked my bearings. I didn't show you that part, but I gave a wiggle on the shafts and so forth, and there was no play in the bearings. But now's a good time to replace the bearings um, if you want to. Put things like that back on. That's it, job's done. So, um, now to keep in mind, when you first start the car with the alternator, it probably won't charge for the first probably 15 to 30 seconds because the brushes have to find their groove in the in the sleeve, and uh, also for the first probably I don't know, I actually don't know how long it takes. Probably not long, but anyway, my point is the groove on the brushes, that doesn't happen instantly, that happens over a matter of time, probably I'd say probably over a period of a week before the brushes get their proper groove and have a full contact onto the sleeves so um, if you're only getting uh, you're charging but not charging as much as what you wish probably just the contact thing with the brushes um, should work straight off but um, I have experienced uh, with the Toyota alternator I did not long ago replace the brushes when I first started it um, there was no charge for the, at the very first kick over and um, same experience after about probably half a minute um, of running the alternator started charging and uh, I experienced that I was getting a 13.8 um, 13.9 charge uh, for the first week and um, now I'm getting a 14.2 charge so that's why I made that comment it's probably going to be the same story with the brushes until they get their groove, get a proper full contact you're probably only going to get almost a good charge and then after a week you get the charge that you expect <clears throat> but that's it, that's done um, nothing else to be just want to be thorough, I want to make sure I don't miss out on anything Anyway, um, that's that. And uh, just a quick, anyone wants to know the reason why I, re I redid the brushes and sleeves on this is uh, this is actually the fourth alternator in two years, second hand of course, that I've gone through. And um, I got sick of it after the fourth one. I was like, something's, you know, I wanted to pull it apart, find out what's going on, why am I going through so many. And obviously, it's this guy here that's the main problem. That, can, that only wears down to so far and then that's no good anymore so even though the brushes were still would have been good enough to keep the alternator going the sleeve wasn't okay so that's it so thanks for watching please subscribe I don't only fix car parts I fix other things too which I'm going to start making videos of uh, like uh, might be a washing machine, dryer stereo system wiring things like that um, until next time. Thanks guys.